first guitar was in the studio was in Abbey Road Studio. Gibson J160E, formerly owned by a fellow named Mr. John Lennon. People are still talking about this guitar, what, wondering where it's at. Really? Wondering so, what happens. So, wonder, wondering if it'll ever come back. So, this, so, those people, in their mind, the story is they know the guitar existed. But nobody's ever, they just know that he didn't have it anymore. And it's been hanging on the wall in the green room or you know, around there. And nobody knew. Nobody I love this. I just love it. I once had a girl, what should I say? She once had me. I bought it from a friend of mine who had purchased it from the Blue Guitar in San Diego in the summer of 1967. I paid $175 for it. She asked me to stay and she told me to sit anywhere. So I was missing it at a show they were doing in London, Finsbury Park. I saw it. Guitar Fishing Auto Magazine. It's on the top of a stack of magazines, fortunately, the May 2012 issue. And the title was uh, George Harrison's Collection. And then she said, It's time for them. The serial number is the very first thing that popped out at me 73161 minus 73157. That guitar in the magazine had the same damage marks that my guitar had. She told me she worked in the morning and started to laugh. In 1963, John and George had swapped guitars for reasons unknown. Later that year, John's guitar went missing. And when I awoke, and Al Evans is there. Brody said, the worst day of my life was the day I had to tell John I lost his guitar. Since we found out what it was, whose it was, it sounds different now, feels different, it's almost unexplainable. I've always loved this guitar. <laughs> It's a beauty.